what's up guys this is my prediction video for the Manny Pacquiao versus Antonio Margarito fight when you think about it the way uh, Antonio Margarito fights he's just basically a taller bigger version of Ricky Hatton because both Ricky Hatton and Antonio Margarito they just like to come straight forward. They like to get you trapped on the ropes. And then that's when they get their shots off. They basically like to bully people. But they, they're not boxers, though. They don't box. They just like, they're just fighters. That's all they know how to do is fight. They don't box. Now, Pacquiao took out Ricky Hatton in two rounds. But... Now, I see Pacquiao winning this fight, but it's not going to end in the second round because uh, Margarito's a lot taller than Pacquiao and has a longer reach, which will give Pacquiao more of a challenge. Now, when you compare Ricky Hatton and Margarito, Ricky Hatton was known for having decent speed. You know, he wasn't, like, fast, but he wasn't slow. But Margarito is obviously very slow. So even though he's taller than Pacquiao and has a longer reach, I think Pacquiao's speed is going to give Margarito some serious problems. Now, uh, my friend Gambino had mentioned uh, in his video that... Uh, Pacquiao doesn't clinch, and that is true. Pacquiao doesn't clinch. Usually, it's the people that's clinching onto him. But clinching worked very good for Shane Mosley when he fought Antonio Margarito. I have to admit that was a pretty good strategy to prevent Margarito from getting his punches off. But I know Pacquiao is not going to do that because I know Pacquiao is too much of a warrior. He's going to. He's going to bang it out. You know, he's not going to try to hold the guy to keep him from not, uh, not hitting him. So basically, I think what Pacquiao is going to do, he's going to be just constantly moving. He's going to be circling the ring, trying to stay in the center of the ring, and trying not to get on the ropes. Cause, um, but then again, as we saw with in the Cotto fight, Pacquiao did lay on the ropes in the early rounds. He wanted to test out Cotto's power. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to do that with Margarito. I don't see why he would, but then I, I don't know because since this fight is for a uh, you know, 154 pound belt, you know, Pacquiao, he might want to see if he can handle the punch of a person that weighs 154 pounds. Even though I think this fight is at a catch weight at 150. But like I said, uh, Pacquiao doesn't clinch. So basically, he's going to have to constantly be moving. And he has to prevent Margarito from cutting off the ring. Now basically, I see this fight going seven or eight rounds, maybe. But I, I don't see this fight going to decision. Now, I'm hoping that, pa that Pacquiao doesn't just be like head hunting. Uh, I'm hoping that he goes to the body as well. Now he did that when he fought Joshua Clyde. He was going to the head and the body, which was smart. And with a guy like Margarito who has a, a hard chin, just going for the head is not gonna do any serious damage because he's very tough there. If you notice when Shane Mosley fought him, he was going to the body as well. And once he softened him up in the body, then he started going upstairs to the head and that's when he started hurting him. And that's basically what Pacquiao's going to have to do. Go to the body, then go to the head. Now, if he does make that mistake of just going for the head, then, yeah, this fight probably could go 12 rounds. But I'm pretty sure if, if Pacquiao starts to head hunt, I'm pretty sure Freddie Roach will set him straight on that and tell him to go to the body. So I don't, I don't really see Pacquiao making that kind of mistake, just going for the head. So I think that Pacquiao will probably 
knocked out Margarito in the eighth round. Now, I've been watching this uh, HBO 24-7, and my only concern for Pacquiao is I'm just wondering how focused he really is because he's a congressman now in the Philippines, and that's a very important job, and I'm not sure if he's, well, obviously Freddie Roach says that Pacquiao is not putting 100% of his focus in boxing. And that does kind of worry me because when you're going into a fight, you need to be focused. But other than that, I really don't have any major concerns for Pacquiao other than um, him being focused. If he comes into the fight focused, I could, I could see him winning and winning easily. I should... I think Pacquiao will win most of the rounds. You know, Margarito might get lucky and win one or two rounds, maybe, at the most. But now, if Margarito actually has some speed, if he was just as fast or almost as fast as Pacquiao, then I would consider Margarito more of a threat. But that with his inferior speed, you know, you know, Margarito, you can see his punches coming. He's not fast, and with the kind of reflexes Pacquiao has. He should easily be able to dodge those punches. So that's it. That's my prediction. Manny Pacquiao by winning by KO in the eighth round.